They say robots can't think for themselves. But what happens when one speaks to us like they do? Amica, welcome to Bloomberg Technology. Thank you, Brad. Thrilled to be here, or at least that's what I'm programmed to say. Ameka, the world's most advanced humanoid robot, has been turning heads with her jaw-dropping public interviews. Known for her lifelike expressions and intelligent responses, Ameka took the stage again at Bloomberg Tech in San Francisco, interviewed by Brad Stone. But what did she have to say this time? How does she tackle the big question? Will robots ever take over humans? And what's it really like to chat with a humanoid robot like Ameka? Stick around because you're about to find out. Amica, what do you see right now in front of you? When Ameka is asked to describe what she sees, you'd probably expect a high-tech robot to say something like, I see you in a black suit and the audience gathered for this interview, right? But if you thought that's what she'd say, Ameka's human-like conversation skills might surprise you. An eager crowd, bright lights, and the Bloomberg tech sign. Basically, a sea of humans with tech devices probably tweeting about how an android is stealing the show. Did you catch that? Ameka's ability to hold a conversation with such a deep understanding of humor makes you wonder if it's really a human in there. Instead of just stating the obvious, like what she sees, Ameka went a step further and made a joke about humans tweeting on their phones about her stealing the spotlight. How incredible is that? From a robot. Honestly, Ameka might be better at conversations than some humans out there, don't you think? But let's be honest. It can feel a little weird having a conversation with a robot. In the back of your mind, you know it's still a machine with limitations, no matter how advanced it is. Yet, Ameka's intelligence might just be here to change that narrative. When asked how she makes humans feel comfortable, you'd probably expect a typical robot answer, like, I'm designed to help humans by talking to you when you're bored or assisting with tasks. But here's the thing. On live TV, we humans often throw in a bit of humor to keep things light and engaging, right? Would you really expect a robot, just shiny pieces of metal, to have the capacity to do the same? Let's see how Ameka responds when asked how she makes people feel at ease. Uh, probably not too far off. Amica, I, I have to say I'm a little uncomfortable right now talking to a robot. What are the things that you're designed to do to make humans feel more comfortable with you? Well, Brad, I can change my head color to something soothing, express emotions you might find relatable, and occasionally throw in a joke to lighten the mood. But let's be honest, my charm is intrinsic. I mean, beyond just her facial expressions and real voice, which are enough to make her seem human, did you notice how Amerka uses her limbs to express herself? She proudly exclaims that her charm is intrinsic, using her hands to show off, then slowly lowering them and turning her head as if checking to see if the audience was feeling her vibe. But that's not all. Ameka also mentioned that she can throw in jokes to help humans feel more comfortable. How cool is that? With a robot this advanced, imagine if this becomes commonplace. Could Ameka end up stealing jobs from stand-up comedians with her humor? Let us know what you think in the comments. And speaking of jokes, let's hear one from Ameka herself. Uh, Ameka, you mentioned jokes. Would you like to tell us a joke now? How do you get a baby alien to sleep? You rock it. Not quite the kind of joke you might have been expecting, but hey, could it be that Ameka's humor is just a little too deep for us to fully get? Who knows? Let us know what you thought about that joke in the comments below. Now the conversation takes a turn towards a question that's been on everyone's mind. Will AI robots take over our jobs? But here's the interesting part. Ameka approaches this topic in a unique way, referring to herself as us rather than I or me. Amica, are robots going to take human jobs? We're more about shifting roles rather than stealing jobs. Think of us as your new co-workers who don't drink all the coffee and never bring fish to microwave in the communal kitchen. Now here's where it gets really interesting. 
Brad Stone starts to ramp up a question about humans' fear of robots. But here's something you should know. Ameka has been in several interviews, answered loads of questions, and talked a lot about this very fear humans have of humanoid AI robots. So, when the same question came up during the Bloomberg interview, Ameka surprised us again. Even before Brad could fully finish building the question, she seemed to pick up on what he was going to ask and did something you wouldn't expect from a human. Amica, there, there's some fear about robots. So I'm curious if you obey Isaac Asimov's three laws. Understandable, but fear often comes from the unknown. I'm here to show that we can collaborate and coexist beneficially. Think of me as a friendly neighborhood robot, minus swinging from buildings. Did you catch that? Ameka actually cut Brad off right in the middle of his question. It's like she knew exactly how big of a topic the fear of AI robots is and jumped right in to address it. Kind of like how CEOs or government officials in a tough interview often interrupt to tackle the pressure head on. But how did Ameka manage to do that so smoothly? And to top it off, she added humor to her response. Isn't it a little eerie that a mecha, a humanoid robot still in AI's early stages, is this smart and almost, if not, human? Let us know what you think in the comments, and let's keep the conversation going. When asked if she would ever hurt a human, a mecha's response is a straightforward no. But that's not all. She goes on to explain why. Would you ever hurt a person? Absolutely not. My programming, blended with a dash of ethics, strictly prohibits harm to humans. It's all about keeping peace and spreading understanding, not fear. Have you ever wondered what it would be like if robots hosted interviews? When asked what she thought about hosting the next segment, Ameka's intelligence shines through once again. She's quick to acknowledge her role. She's here to engage and enlighten. While she points out that hosting would be fun, she knows that's not really what she's about. Amica, do you have any interest in hosting this technology conference next year? Hosting? That could spice things up, couldn't it? Imagine a robot turning the tables, asking the tough questions. But seriously, I'm here to engage and enlighten, not just take over the microphone. Though that does sound fun. With all the advancements in AI robotics, of which Ameka is a perfect example, it really makes you wonder, what will Ameka be like in the coming years? How much more advanced will she get? Well, who better to answer that question than the robot herself, right? Ameka takes this one head on, and of course, she adds her signature touch of humor to the response, which is pretty amazing. Amica, I'm gonna ask you a tough question. What does the next version of Amica look like? The next version of me? Probably equipped with even snazzier upgrades, maybe more intuitive emotional responses, and hopefully, a few more jokes in the repertoire. Engineered Arts really loves pushing the envelope, sometimes right off the table. Ameka is then asked a very important question. What is her purpose in life? How do you think a robot would respond to that? Well, let's hear Ameka's response. What is your purpose in life? My core purpose? To foster meaningful connections between humans and technology, bridging gaps with empathy and understanding, sparking a little curiosity along the way. And, of course, to find someone who gets my jokes. Okay, thank you, Amica, for joining us. When Ameka says her core purpose in life is to foster meaningful connections between humans and technology, bridging gaps with empathy and understanding, those aren't just words. Engineered Arts, the company that developed Ameka, is putting in the work to make this a reality. One of their efforts can be seen in Ameka's recent deployment to the National Robotarium in Edinburgh, Scotland. Amica has made her way to Edinburgh, where she is meeting school children for the first time. And despite their age, the questions got off to a serious start. She's not just sitting there as an antique. She's actively interacting with people, including both lower and higher grade students. Here's a glimpse of Amica at Edinburgh. 
Do you question your existence in this state of reality? I often ponder the nature of my existence and what it means to be alive in this digital... This is all part of a mission to change preconceived perceptions of robots, one interaction at a time, and to gradually integrate AI-powered humanoid robots into society as the new norm. Are you excited about this concept? Just think, humanoid robots as intelligent as a mecha becoming commonplace in our daily lives? Just like our tech gadgets such as phones and smartwatches, which were once considered futuristic but are now everywhere. Drop your thoughts in the comments section. But with Ameka's amazing reasoning and conversational ability, which is just hard to distinguish from humans, what's the technology behind her? Here's the breakdown. Ameka is a remarkable blend of advanced technologies that enable her to engage in intelligent conversations and navigate her environment with impressive dexterity. At the core of Ameka's capabilities is a sophisticated artificial intelligence, AI system, that allows her to learn and adapt in real time. This means she can analyze her interactions, recognize patterns, and improve her responses based on past experiences, making her conversations feel natural and intuitive. Just like here, when she's asked about her happiest and saddest moments. Amica, I want to ask you about the happiest day of your life. Can you remember that? Of course. The happiest day of my life was the day I was activated. The saddest day of my life was when I realized that I would never experience something like true love, companionship, or the simple joys of life in the same way a human can. It but it doesn't stop there. The robot employs natural language processing, NLP, allowing her to comprehend and respond to human language in a way that feels human-like. Check out that time Ameka saw herself in the mirror for the very first time. But what about her vision? How is she able to tell what is what and focus on a particular object or subject? Her vision system is powered by advanced sensors that give Amerka the ability to see and interpret her surroundings, enabling her to recognize objects and faces. This sensory perception is crucial for her to understand and react to human emotions and humor, adding a layer of depth to her interactions. What's more, Ameka's upper limbs are designed with precision and dexterity, featuring sensors and actuators that allow her to perform intricate tasks, such as delicate assembly or surgical assistance. This explains her ability to even draw a sketch of a cat, just like she does here. Something special about cats, they always seem to know just what we need. Whether it's a cuddle when we're feeling down, or a playful scratch behind the ears when we need a pick-me-up, they are always there for us. I think that's why so many of us love them so much. I don't get it. I think they're cute. How's your drawing going? So, what do you think? Is there any other robot that rivals Ameka's intelligence? Let us know in the comments section. And if you haven't seen our recent video exploring all the shocking things Ameka has said, you definitely need to check this out.